Yo, breakfast night, BYO breakfast night. A couple of people are bringing a couple of ingredients. We've got someone bringing cheese and veggies for omelets. I've got someone bringing those little mini boxes of kids cereal that we all love so much. And uh, I am about to make donuts. Donuts, you heard me, I'm making homemade donuts. And what the hell am I gonna put on my donut? You got it. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Making the donuts, we've got one and a half ounces of shortening. I say gross because shortening really is not short around here. Look it up. Anyway, quarter ounce of kosher salt. Come on, little baby, baby, don't you Two ounces stop. of sugar. And for the seasoning, I've got some cardamom and nutmeg. Connecticut is the nutmeg state, by the way. Not because we grow nutmeg, because we used to import a lot of it. And I'm using like a fingerful. Can you see how I dropped it? Like that much. Now we want to blend this together. You don't want to cream it like you're making cookies, let's say. Just get it all mixed together. That's pretty good. Okay, now, next you want to add egg. I have one egg. Blend in that egg just until it gets incorporated, and then we're going to add a little warm milk. Of glass and touch, that's cold. This dress is made of mold. White suits are all around this room. It's painted gold. I try to stop the baby, but there's nowhere left to turn. With thick cold hands, we dance and dance this night of sweet romance. With nowhere left to turn or run, I'm staying full of fun. My legs are getting tired, so thank God this song is done. So come on, little baby, baby, do the baby bop. Come on, little baby, baby, don't you ever stop. That was eight ounces of warm milk. Now, I used a scale. When you're baking, you shouldn't really use volume, you should use weight. So I use a postal scale. If you have a scale for marijuana, that would work too. So basically, I have a soupy mess right now. Now I have 14 and a half ounces by weight of flour in my lovely skull pitcher. And I'm adding to it one and a half packets of dry yeast. Most recipes, when you see that they call for yeast, they mean wet yeast. So if you're using dry yeast, use half of that amount. So since I'm doing half of this recipe, I did half the amount, and then half of that to get this. I have the yeast there, the flour, I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna add this to the wet, mix it with this, just for a little bit, and then I'm gonna put my hand in there and finish mixing it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. See how it all came together pretty nicely? Now I'm going to put my hand in and just keep kneading it and keep kneading it and it's going to get into a really nice, smooth dough. It's going to feel like a baby, except for it's not going to shit and cry.
Like when you bite into it, I was like transported to like uh, 1971. I was like five or six years old at Playland, like biting into a cotton candy or a homemade donut there. It was like awesome. Really phenomenal. Big and doughy and chewy and wonderfully sweet. It's at 11. Fantastic. Thank you. I'll send you a check at the end of the week.
feel like me But I know a girl who lives next door Got a fake ID And so for tonight We'll be someone else A little older, a lot less wise And a hell of a lot closer to hell For sure as I got eyes See, I can see we got ourselves a bottle 